he was he's a legend, bro. He'd eat people daily. Oh. He's getting rather than he's clamping. Really? See, yeah, oh, the way he played is the way he trained. He's getting after Same. you. Yeah, yeah, getting after you. So if you're 50, you was, I don't know, 15 or you was 35, you're getting it. And, wow. and some of the young boys who were trying to take his position, he'd, say, he'd speak to him all the time. Lovely, lovely fella. Speak to him all the time. But like, listen. It's competition. You want my place? Yeah. You have to you, earn you it. You got to take it off me. The first day train with the first team. What do you remember about yours? I was nervous, bro. Really? Yeah. I remember thinking, don't lose the ball. Yeah, 100%. That's the first one. Look after the ball, don't lose it. And then just have energy. Just run around. Yeah. Those are the two things that really came into play for me because our team was kind of old as mm. well. Like all like 30s. Come towards the end of the career yeah, as well. Yeah, they? so I was thinking if I could just be energetic, I'll be all right. What about you? Because yours obviously would have been different because you've come through with an expectation. You've come through yeah, the, the youth team and all that sort of stuff. So obviously I knew at some point then I was going to be like, obviously Harry will call me over. I think that was the plan and stuff like that. But I don't even know if I was, if I was nervous. I think I was more excited than anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, you know when you're young, you're just fearless and that you just get on with it. You know, you take everything in your stride. But I was lucky though, because a lot of the boys, to be fair, like the first team played, like the Rio Ferdinand, Frank, mm -hmm. uh, who at the time was still youngish. Mm -hmm. The senior, like Trevor Sinclair, right? All that lot. They were, uh, Paolo, they were brilliant with me. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like you, I think, I was always thinking, right, just don't lose the ball. Mm -hmm. Don't try anything silly. Um, be confident, of course, mm -hmm. because I always felt like, even with the first team, like, phew, you lost the ball, they, you're getting oh, it. Oh, you're getting it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like, oh, he's young now, you're getting it. Mm -hmm. Kind of intimidated a little proper, bit. Proper, mm -hmm. proper, but, that, 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 but you need that, do you know what I mean? So I think I was more, I was probably more excited than anything. So I remember we was doing a finishing session. I remember it was like it was yesterday. We are doing a finishing session and ball goes wide, two in a box, you get the movements and all yeah. that sort of, so the ball's come over and I've hit this volley, but it's come from the right hand side and you know normally it comes across your body. Yeah. I remember I hit this volley, went in and Harry started clapping and that, that's how you finish. I'm thinking, rah. Like you got like the Canio there, yeah. Canute, all these senior professionals. And like the manager said that, like at the time I was probably only 16 at the time. Mad. When he said it, so I was just like, wow, what does that, what does that do to a 16 year old? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, but I think he was clever in that way though, Harry, with young players. Do you feel you had to prove yourself mm. even with the manager's backing? I already know the answer, but you yeah, to tell. Yeah, I always felt like that. Yeah. I have to justify this 1.6 million for a 16 mm -hmm. year old that's not even kicked a ball yet. Yeah. I have to justify that. Was that like a record as well? Yeah, at the time. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and to be fair, when I was that, I didn't even, I didn't think about it too much. Mm -hmm. I was gone with it because I'm young, innit? Obviously, Premier League training grounds. I don't think people understand the level of competition, intensity. Oh my God. How brutal it is. Oh my God. To be able to deliver on a daily basis. You know, once you're in the building, mm -hmm. you're in the academy. And when you think about it, everyone's there to get in the first team. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and we know the numbers. Yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. sitting in a room, bro, and it's like, we're all friends. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, well, max two of us are going to make it, get into the first team. Yep. When you came through, yeah. say like someone else trained with the first team, mm -hmm. was there a little bit of jealousy? Always. always. And you can sense it. Yeah, yeah. And I can see from the, I was always the one that was training with the first team because mm. obviously I was bigger. Yeah. So League Two, they were looking at stature more yeah. than quality at that time. Yeah. So I was always with them. And uh, yeah, just the way people would act with you. Like you'd be with the first team, you come back and it's like, oh, See, we were, like little yeah, yeah, yeah. sidewards yeah, yeah. Good, too good for us now. Like, yeah, 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 all yeah, of that. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Well, that way you're supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. So obviously the other way around, you ain't, you ain't paid no mind to me. You don't care. You're going to nah. do what you do. Is nah, so. nah. I thought it was different. And then what I realised, obviously, when I got to the Premier with like Watford is like, obviously money is now not an issue. Yeah. The, yeah. the standard of the player goes up. Yeah. Everyone, in the first team, everyone's an international. Yeah. And it's like, ooh, this is this is the levels. Yeah, like everyone's yeah. like I say we had people leaving Spurs, West Ham, all these players coming to us. Coming to Watford, yeah. And that raised everyone's standard. But now the kids coming up, it I don't think they were ready for the job no. for the first two years anyway. No. Do you get what I mean? Because yeah. they come from championship where you might come in for a game, do a little bit, go back out. And then you come to the Prem and it's like you gotta train with these guys. We had like Valo Barami. He was he's a legend, bro. He'd eat people daily. Oh. He's getting rather than he's clamping. Really? See, yeah, oh, the way he played is the way he trained. He's getting after Same. you. Same. Yeah, yeah, getting after you. So if you're 50, you was, I don't know, 15 or you was 35, you're getting it. And, wow. and some of the young boys who were trying to take his position, he'd, say, he'd speak to him all the time. Lovely, lovely fella. He'd speak to him all the time. But like, listen. It's competition. You want my place? Yeah. You have to you, earn it. You got to take it off me. Yeah, you got to take it off and me. And I'm not going to give it you. Yeah, yeah. And he'd, yeah. Well, he'd, he'd get after people and he'd just clap people. 
You made a bad foul on him. No, yeah. he's coming. 